In this video, I want to show you a simple way to do this art style called Neo Geo. It's a geometric style that uses different shapes and colors and makes some cool patterns. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juna with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005 and I've been doing graphic design since the mid 90s. So I've been doing a lot of different styles, uh, graphic design styles, and this one I've seen before, but I want to show you how to do it. And that is called Neo Geo. So Neo Geo is short for Neo Geometric Conceptualism. If you go to images in Google, you'll see so many different artworks and they're all different shapes and colors. So there's not one way to do this. There's so many different ways. And I love this because you can just use your imagination on what shapes you want to do. And so I'm going to show you how to do some very simple shapes in Affinity Designer. This is a good way to show you the different tools in Affinity Designer as well. Neo Geo isn't very popular on t-shirts, but you can imagine you can put these on so many different products. This would look good on bed sheets. This could look good on towels, on shower curtains, on phone cases, on pop sockets, on a lot of different things. And you could use it as a pattern inside of your t-shirt design, maybe not as the full t-shirt design, but they could be in patterns and in different things like you put leopard patterns and stuff and, and zebra patterns and things like that. So very versatile and very easy to do. And you can make so many different ones with the different shapes and different colors. So lots of different ways to do it. I'm gonna show you how to do it one way. There's lots of ways to do it as well. I'm gonna show you my way. Hopefully it's a, a simple way that you can do and then play around with it. Use this as a starting point to make your own style, your own different things. So if you don't have Affinity Designer, you can try and follow along in Canva or in Illustrator or whatever you're using, Inkscape. Uh, it will be pretty simple. These are basic shapes that I'm going to be using, squares and circles and things like that. So follow along and you can do, like I said, you can do any shape anyway. So whatever shapes your application has, use that instead. So let's get into Affinity Designer and let me show you how to do it. So here we are in Affinity Designer. If you just started with your artboard, click on your artboard. We're going to make sure that it's the right size. So we're going to first, we're going to do guides for this. So let's go to the transform tool. You can see I have 4,500 by 5,400, which is my Merch by Amazon size. I'm going to change it to 5,000 by 5,000. And you'll see why in a little bit. So 5,000 and hit tab and then 5,000 again tab and there you go it's a nice square so right away you'll know that it's a square so that we can tile these so in Redbubble and other applications when you have a square you can tile it and it will just make the pattern repeat over uh, bigger spaces so this is very important to do and then the next is um, it's easy to divide by five so I just need a 1000 by 1000 square so just draw a square like this and make sure that it's 1000 here 1000 tab 1000 so this square we're going to do five times it's going to be five by five so a uh, one nice way you can do this is to use your guides here do this um, to the left right align left and then align top right there so that's in the corner so we're going to draw our guides to this from the ruler right here just draw a guide and draw a guide like that right so we're going to take this same one and we're going to do middle so we'll do middle and top here. And then we'll use our guides again. So let's do that and that. And then this one will also go to the right and top, right? And we'll do, you guessed it, we'll do the guides again. And we're gonna do this um, for the bottom too. So go here and then bottom. So we got the guides, draw it down here. We're just drawing the guides where we're gonna put our squares. So we want it, I forgot, we're supposed to put it in the middle. So let's do middle right there. And then guides and guides, great. So now whenever we put this, it's gonna to snap to guides. Make sure your snap to guides is on right here. This is snapping. If you click that on and then you can see here, snap to guides there. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit and I'm gonna copy this artboard. So I'm gonna hit Option, Shift, hold down, click on the artboard and drag. So we got the same thing on this side 
and same thing here with the different guides. So we're gonna make nine of these to put in here. Now I know there's more than nine, but we're gonna rotate it and color it and do different things so that it, we don't just don't have the same nine. So um, let's zoom in here, hold down option and scroll wheel and you can scroll in. So the first shape we're gonna do is a triangle in a square. So click on here, go to layers. You can see it's just that one square. We're gonna hit command J and you can see there's two of them now. We're gonna convert this to curves like that and then hit the node tool like this and we're just gonna get rid of that one. So we're gonna color this, color these um, different colors. So this one we'll, we can leave gray and this one blue. All right, great. So that's our square one. Let's do another one. Let's copy this and we'll do it there. So the next one that I'm gonna show you how to do is just to half the square. So do this, Command J again, and pull this halfway down. That's all you have to do. And then color this one. There, we got two. Let's do another one. Let's just do a circle inside of this. So get rid of that. And here's your circle. Start from here and just go all the way down to this corner. There's your third shape, a circle and a square, really easy. Um, let's do another one here. So we're gonna click right here with the node tool. You can see there's a point there and then get rid of this point. And then let's do this. Put this up like this. We could either do that or we could rotate it back. So you can see I'm gonna just flip it. Yeah. That's a cool one, right? So we'll keep that. That's shape number four, really easy. Uh, let's copy this one. Let's use some of the shapes in here. So uh, triangle, diamond, any one of these. Uh, diamond is easy. Let's click here. Whoops. Click here and up. There's your diamond. Super simple. Um, let's do another one. You can do as many of these as you want, just super simple. Use these shapes right here. Um, let's do this donut. This donut's cool. All right. There and there. Cool. Uh, the next three we're gonna do kind of fancy. So let's take this donut, put it here, and let's move the donut to the edge there and take this Hold shift and wait till you go there and there. And then what you can do in this is you can change the donuts angles so you can see how it does that. So let's do start at angle zero and end at angle 90. And there you go. Isn't that cool? That's a nice shape. We could do the same with the circle and the pie tool. So let's do this right here. Go to the pie tool. Isn't this fun with these different shapes? So go here, holding down shift there and there. So this is why we have the guides, right? It's so easy to do it with the guides. And then again, we're gonna start at angle zero and end on angle 90. Boom. All right, let's do one more shape. Let's do a fun one. Let's put this one right here. And let's do the star tool. So star you can do like that, but let's do a four pointed star. We'll just, you can do as many points as you want. That would be fun to any one of these, but let's just do a four pointed star. Like I said, the, like there's so many different shapes that you could use here, right? And then just do that there. So those will be our nine shapes. You can do as many shapes as you want, but we'll just use this, these basic nine, and then we'll fill that in here. So once you get to this point, let's group these together. So this right here, Let's just make sure they're together like that by doing a line center and a line center this way. And then once you have them together, 
make sure you group them. So Command G. Same thing with this one. One thing I forgot is that this is a big circle. Remember we cut it out. We're gonna have to, um, let's double click on this and you wanna convert this to curves. So once you convert it to curves, then it knows that you, you actually want that shape. So same thing with the donut. The whole circle is actually there, it's just hidden. So you're gonna wanna click, double click on that and convert that to curves. So now, now this is one piece, you can see it's just a square. So you wanna make sure that it's a square. If you see that it's outside of the square, you might have to convert that to curves. You wanna make sure all of these are just squares now right and real easy to move because we're going to move them around flip them around rotate it and everything so now that we have these shapes let's put them in here into our first artboard let's remove this so you can pick any one you want first let's do this one now that it's here click on the artboard click on this and put it there now you can rotate it right if you want it like that hold down shift to rotate at 90 degrees 45 45 90 like that so it's real easy. Um, next one we could put in here. Actually, let's do this, this is fun. So let's put here, put this one in here and it snaps to the guides. You see how that did that? Um, let's grab this one, put it here, snapping to the guides. Now again, you can rotate this. So hold down shift and maybe you want it like that instead. Really cool, right? Um, let's grab this star, snapped in here and let's do this one snapped in there all right that's looking good all right so let's do this one here that'll be fun this is here and and start filling them as much as we can i'm going to fast forward so you can see uh, what it looks like so here we go this is what i came up with uh, yours may look different depending on what you did. The next thing we want to do is color these and a great way to get the right colors is to go to the internet and get a color palette. I like to go to coolers.co. I'll show you where that is right now. So here I am on coolers.co. I love this website. Uh, you can make different color palettes or you can explore the ones that are already here. Let's start the generator. This one's really fun. So we hit this and it just generates a color palette so you can just choose this one just you know download it or take a snapshot or you could hit your space bar and it will change it look at this one this one's really cool i like this one already so let's just do a uh, command shift uh, there's ways to download this but i like to just do command shift four for a screenshot and i'm just gonna take these colors right here boom so i'm gonna take those colors and use it in Affinity Designer and I'll show you how to do it. So you can see here, I brought in my color palette that I took a screenshot of, and I'm just gonna color these with the eyedropper. So double click on this one, and you see instead of that color, I can choose this color right here, boom. And then do the inside, I can choose this color right here, and so on, um, whatever you want. I'm gonna fast forward this one as, as well but you can do the same thing. I'm gonna color this whole thing and you'll see exactly what it looks like at the end. So there you go, I colored the whole thing. Yours might be a little bit different. Um, I, I chose to do some of these where they're the same color so they look like a bigger piece. So you might wanna do that. You can see I did it here too. They're kind of connecting so I, I made those connect. Have fun with this. This is a fun way to color it. One thing you might need to do is to move these squares just a little bit. I know I did snapping to guides, but sometimes it doesn't snap really well. So if you do view and then uncheck show guides, you can see there's some white space here. Just zoom in like this and make sure this one is centered right there and to the bottom. And then you can do these in the middle, right? And then make sure that, and just go in and kind of clean these up. Sometimes they didn't snap. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just clean these up. So the last thing I wanna show you is what you can do with these. So I'm gonna export this. Um, I'm gonna hit Artboard 1 and just hit my Command Shift Option S. And that's my export. And I'm gonna export this artboard as a PNG. And we're gonna use this PNG. I'm just gonna call it Neo Geo 1 since we're gonna make a lot of these and then save it to my desktop and I'm gonna show you what we can do with it in Redbubble. 
So here I am on Redbubble. I drag this in here. You can see that's the same thing we had on Affinity Designer. Now, not so great on t-shirts, um, but on hats, kind of cool, I think, if you got the right color hat. Uh, the all over print, not bad, um, but here is where it gets really cool, the phone cases. So I have mine set at choose pattern. With no pattern, you can see it's not the best, but with the regular grid pattern, look at that. We can make it any size we want, but I think something like that is really cool, the repeat pattern, really neat. Um, let's see, looks great on mouse pads, on pillows, on desk mats, we could do that. Uh, prints and cards, but look shower curtain. We could do a full shower curtain with the same thing with the pattern if you do the regular grid. The offset grid is kind of cool too. It, it has that cool pattern. It still works with the offset grid. So either one of those, you can see it makes a different pattern here. Look at travel mugs. Look at all of these cool stuff. Just has that neat modern Neo Geo look, right? Great for book covers if you're doing um, print on demand. KDP, uh, bath mats would be great. Um, it doesn't fill that whole thing. Anything where you fill the whole space with a pattern, it does great. Like mask, look at this mask. This is so cool. Bring this down, change it to pattern. That's a cool mask right there, right? Um, and then aprons, just this whole pattern. And with the colors, you chose the right colors because of colors.co. So um, there you go. That's what I would do on Redbubble. I would like to show you one more thing, and this is for coloring books. So the last thing I wanna show you is coloring books. Super easy, just um, select all of these, and instead of color, just do no color, but the stroke will be black, like that. And then make sure your stroke is big enough to see right there. Look at that. Wouldn't that be fun to color? And every time you make one of these designs, uh, you can make it another coloring page and another coloring page. Before you know it, you have 30 different pages to color. And this is really fun to color, especially if you do different shapes in here, the stars and anything, use your imagination. You got lots of different ideas now. You can see you can change the colors, the shapes, just so many different patterns that you can make. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this video was super helpful for you. Now you can make all your own Neo Geo patterns. It's so fun to do and it's just shapes. So you, you, you can make so many different ones and play around with the different colors on coolers. That's really cool. So if this brought you lots of value, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. Thanks so much for watching. The question of the day is, have you heard of Neo Geo before? Let me know in the comments if you've seen this style, if you've heard of it before. I'm sure a lot of you heard of geometric patterns, but this is the first time I knew that it was called Neo Geo. I had to look it up. So let me know in the comments if you already knew that's what it was called. Thanks again for watching. And if you wanna see more design videos, click on these right here. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.